hey guys welcome back to part 3 of this series and in this part we are going to set up our repository and use cases so within our domain layer repository i am going to create one interface naming get blocks repository so this is an interface so change this interface and within this interface i am going to create a suspend function naming get blocks and this will return a list of block all right now jump into your data layer repository and create a new class naming get blocks repository implementation so this is a class and this class is going to implement our get blocks repository and save api request so save api request is a abstract class and it contain a function by using this function we are going to call our rest api and if a, everything is fine then it will return me a response of type t and if any kind of error is occurred on the token it will throw an exception so this is a simple working of this particular safe api request so now jump into your get blog repository implementation press control i implement this method right now so while response save api request and within this save api request i am going to call api service dot get blocks so this api service is injected by our dagger so inject constructor private while api service and here you can see error is gone now i am going to return this response dot data so the data is actually returning a list of blog dto so i am going to convert this into our domain layer and if it is a case it is null we are going to return an empty list all right so now we are going to jump in our data module dependency injection part and here i am going to provide provide get blocks repository and i am going to return get repo block repository so we are going to return the implementation of that repository so if dagger if we ask dagger to inject get block repository it will simply use this function and inject the implementation of that get block repo get block repository which is in our case get block repository implementation so get block repository implementation pass api service so api service this api service we can pass from here all right so that's it from our repository part and now we are going to tackle our use cases but before jumping in our use cases go to your common layer and here we are going to create one constant so this is an object and it will contain the base url and our app id which we are get which we are getting from our dummy api.io so we are using these two in our later tutorials click copy and paste this resource class in your project from my github repository and then continue with this tutorial so now it's time to writing our use cases so what are the use cases so for example if we have a profile in our application so getting profile is one use case updating profile is a second use case deleting profile is a third use case so these are called use cases all right so we are going to continue with this our use case so in our case we have two different use cases first is our getting blog and the second is our getting blog details so we have two use cases in our whole app so we are going to tackle the first one the list of blocks so now we are going to create our use cases but before that this resource class we are going to use in this use case so for that we are going in our build.gedl domain level and 
here we are implementing implementation project co common sync your project because we have resource file within our common so that is why we have to implement that project now jump in our use cases so right click new kotlin class slash file get blocks use case so this is a class and within this class we are going to create a suspend operator function get blocks and it will return a flow which is coming from kotlin x coroutine a resource which is coming from our common pack module level and list of block so list of blocks use flow and initially i am going to emit resource dot loading and pass message null and then after i am using try catch block and it is a case any exception occurred on that occasion i am going to emit a resource dot error and pass message error occurred and in the try block i am using response here we are going to inject our repository so constructor injection is take place private well get block repository and i am going to use that get block repository dot get blocks and i am going to emit this response to our success so in the data we are going to pass response and yes everything is fine and one more thing this operator is giving me an error because the name should be invoke so now add this uh, get block use case to our dependency so right click new cotton class less file and uh, i am call this domain module so domain module this is an object uh, install in singleton component class and this is a module so annotated with module and now i provide a notation function pro provide get block use case so it will return get block use case return get block use case and it will accept the get blocks repository so pass get block repository over here and just simply pass that repository into our get block use case that's it for this video and we will meet in our next video